We have new information about the discovery of a 310-year-old Spanish shipwreck carrying treasure that might be worth up to $17 billion. The ship was found with the help of an underwater robot, an unmanned submarine similar to this one. Don Daler is at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, where researchers disclosed the robot's role this week. Don, good morning. Hey, good morning. This is the unmanned submersible vehicle, the Remus 6000. It can dive up to depths of four miles. It's loaded with sensors and cameras. And this is part of the team of researchers who found what may end up being one of the most valuable shipwrecks in history. These bronze cannons confirmed the holy grail of shipwrecks had been found at the bottom of the Caribbean Sea. They're engraved with dolphins, a telltale sign they belong to the Spanish galleon San Jose, lost more than 300 years ago. I just sat there for about 10 minutes and smiled. Jeff Cayley was alone on his bunk in the search vessel when he spotted the cannons. I'm not a marine archaeologist, but... You know what a cannon looks like. I know like. what a cannon looks like. So in, in that moment, I was the, I guess, the only person in the world who knew we'd found the shipwreck. The exact location of the wreckage is still a secret, but it was discovered in November 2015 off the coast of Cartagena, Colombia. Its cargo of gold, silver, and emeralds could be worth as much as $17 billion today. The Remus 6000, operated by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute in Massachusetts, found the ship almost 2,000 feet below the surface. The underwater robot scanned the seafloor using long-range sonar, then went back and took pictures of any objects that seemed out of the ordinary. You can take bigger risks with your technology and go to places where it wouldn't be safe or feasible to put a human being. The Remus used the same methods to find Air France Flight 447, which crashed off the coast of Brazil in 2009. British warships sunk the San Jose and its crew of 600 in 1701, its final moments immortalized by the painter Samuel Scott. For now, all of its treasure remains underwater. Working with the Colombian government, the Woods Hole team also found artifacts like teacups and ceramic jugs. Everyone's focused on the treasure aspect. The whole thing is a cultural treasure. It's a, it's a piece of history that's sitting on the seafloor that tells a story. The actual location of the shipwreck is still a secret because there's a legal battle going on between Spain and Colombia as to who actually owns the treasure. But as for the folks who found it, they say they don't have a dog in that fight. They are explorers, not treasure hunters. Gail. Still, thank you, Don. I wouldn't mind a little reward. Just a little thank you for finding it. Yeah, yeah, a little something for the house <laughs> yeah, there uh, off that 17 billion. It's not a finders, losers we for finder keeper situation at all. Thank you, Don Daler.